Police have been busy to start 2023, responding to dozens of reports of stolen vehicles. It's been an ongoing issue for nearly a year, but police have seen a dramatic increase in recent days. Studios reporter Kajaja Hawkins joins us live in the studio after talking to police on what they are doing to crack down on the thieves and how you can avoid becoming a victim. Kajaja. Police say as of yesterday, there have been 91 car thefts so far this year. Investigators say juveniles are committing most of these crimes and there are common factors linking most of them to the thefts. This is a map provided by the Dayton Police showing where the vehicles have been stolen so far. According to police, some of the vehicles were left running with keys inside. Others were Kias and Hyundais that have been targets for nearly a year since a TikTok video described how to steal them. Police say most of the cars stolen this year have been returned, but they can take days to be returned and are often damaged. Police saying that they are doing their part to catch these thieves as quickly as they can. Um, we do have some license plate readers in our cruisers, which we use those along with a lot of information sharing um, between us and other agencies, figuring out um, the times when these cars are being stolen, what locations are being recovered at, and um, relaying that information to our officers. Police say there are things that you can do to avoid becoming a victim. Police suggest buying steering wheel and brake immobilizers and parking in lit, visible areas. Police say the reasoning for the theft varies, with some simply wanting to joyride and others committing crimes after the initial theft. Some people are doing it uh, for fun, joyriding, um, but other people are using it to commit crimes as well. We're seeing it. Um, um, shootings, selling drugs, things like that, stealing other cars. Officials tell us some of these cars were stolen by youth as young as 12 years old. Police saying the damage is much worse due to their lack of driving abilities, making them a threat to everyone else. Juveniles, they don't have the driving skills that um, you would need um, to drive a car, and especially the way they're driving, it's, they're endangering the lives of the public. Now you always want to make sure you take your keys out of the car if you warm it up in the morning. And if you have a garage, you can also use it to protect your car. Live in the studio, Kajaja Hawkins, 2 News, working for you.